These are roads that would typically, on a Monday morning uh, at 9.15, be filled with traffic, filled with cars. But given that it is Labor Day Monday, uh, they do have a pretty clear stretch here of freeway. And again, at last clock, uh, last check, they were at 85, 90 miles per hour with at least three police vehicles in pursuit. That's all that we can see from, from the shot, uh, but likely to be more and in the surrounding areas as well. Again, eastbound on Interstate 80, a main thoroughfare in the tri-state area going straight through New Jersey. And it looks like you can see now they're heading southbound. This is a toll plaza, obviously, and it looks like they're going to try to go southbound on the turnpike here. Wow, are they going to be able to get through that toll plaza? You've got the police vehicle right behind him. This could be the end of the road. And here you see the driver exiting the vehicle. Police right there. Wow, a blow to the head. And now they've got the driver out. And you can see some officers on the other side. Incredible. Okay, there is one other passenger in that vehicle. They've removed the passenger as well. You can see the swarm of officers. This person was not going to get away on foot. That is for sure. If you're just joining us, we've been following a police pursuit in northeastern New Jersey. Speeds reaching as high as 90 miles per hour. Eastbound on Interstate 80, they were now heading to a toll plaza to go southbound on the turnpike. But, of course, that would not happen. Police managed to stop this car and this driver right at that toll plaza, at that entryway to the turnpike. Don't know exactly what started this. We're told that it might have been uh, a speeding stop. Police attempting to stop the driver for speeding. The driver did not want to make that stop, and thus the, the pursuit ensued on eastbound Interstate 80. This is an area that would have been very, very busy typically, but given the fact that it is the holiday, the driver was able to reach very high speeds on a pretty open freeway. Uh, but as you can see, the officers here shutting this down pretty quickly. Connecticut plates on this car, and again, this appears to be an older model Toyota Camry. A passenger's been removed from the passenger seat. Passenger shaking the head. Of the, from my shot, looks to be a woman from what I'm seeing. They've got them both in cuffs now. The female passenger being led away. She's in jeans and a brown sweat jacket. The driver still pressed up against the side of the car. If you didn't see it, that moment where the police stopped the driver, pulled him out, the driver started to step out, and immediately the police were all over him very quickly. A quick blow to the head. The man was on the ground. And then we saw swarms of officers seemingly out of nowhere come over and stop that man, get him in handcuffs, and put him under arrest. Still waiting to get confirmation on exactly what what, what started this whole pursuit? Here you see the man pressed up against the car. Doesn't look like he's saying much. Here's the replay of the final moments of this pursuit. You can see the, one, the police car in front there. This is the toll plaza entering southbound Jersey Turnpike, trying to make the move there. And there you see the officers jumping right on this driver, pulling him out of that car immediately. Three officers, then four, five, six. The same on the other side, the passenger side, because again, remember, there was a passenger in this vehicle, a woman. She was pulled out as well, both in handcuffs, both being taken away. The passenger already taken away into a police vehicle. The driver still pressed up against the side of the car. Officers talking to one another. The driver doesn't appear to be saying much. We're going to continue to follow this, get more details on exactly what happened here. We'll be right back. Stay with us.